Hey, welcome back. Are you stocked up? Are you ready? Are you prepared for what never may be coming this fall and winter, regardless of what they're saying on TV and everything else? Well, I did a little uh, extra prepping this weekend and uh, stocked up on some mostly meat-based products that we're going to cover. I'm going to show you what I uh, went to the store and purchased and everything else, I have the receipt right here. I spent $80. So hold on for one second. I'm gonna readjust this camera so you can see this whole table and we're gonna go over some of the products. gentlemen welcome back to survival preparedness for beginners and as you can see here on the table this is some of the stuff that I went and stocked up on this weekend um, I wanted to get more meat products um, like to tuna fish and chicken and then all this kind of different things and uh, get a few of those maybe some extra spices and stuff so we're gonna go over this real quick um, you know try to make a short little video but I'm gonna show you what you can get and a couple bonus items that I finally scored. Well, one of them I've been able to get, but the other one I haven't been able to get since this whole Charlie Victor 19 hit. And I'm gonna tell you how I found it. So stay tuned to the end because you're gonna to wanna to know this if you're looking for it. All right, so we're gonna start off right in front. You know, it's always nice to have some extra spices and stuff. You know, you get these spices, they're right at Walmart. You buy the Walmart brand, you know, it doesn't matter which kind it is. If it's a Walmart brand, they're 98 cents a piece. You can't go wrong. I store a lot of mine in uh, canning jars. Um, so I've taken, I, I put them in regular canning jars like this. This is adobo, all right? <clears throat> I packaged this um, October 16th of last year. So it's a year old. I put an oxygen absorber in it, sealed it, um, vacuum sealed it, and it's still good. So it's sealed and ready to go. So basically your spices and stuff like that that you're gonna use a lot of all right So then we got some uh, um, You know some of the noodles and stuff like the core noodles and all, all these kind of things um, These things are good until December of 22 so Can't go wrong. So I got a couple packs of those um, did get a couple packs of uh, the instant potatoes they have all different types, you know, you can get the garlic ones and uh, whatever you like. I just got the regular uh, the home style and these are good till uh, July of 2022 also <clears throat> Picked up some beef jerky now Walmart had this on sale and I paid for the beef jerky I'm just looking at my receipt real quick $3.98 they had them on sale for $3.98 so I picked up two of those because beef jerky has gone way up in price. <clears throat> All right, then in the front, I got some uh, cream of mushroom soup. I got a four pack for $3.64. They had a lot of stuff that was on sale. Um, <clears throat> moving on over, diced tomatoes. You can get the petite dice, regular dice, uh, whatever. But just make sure you always have diced tomatoes. I do have sauce and stuff on hand. But diced tomatoes are nice because you can do other things with them. You can add them for a filler, or if you want a sauce, you can always mash them down and take and have your sauce that way. Then you can use your spices to make it, you know, however you like your taste. <clears throat> Hormel chili. All right, this one's with beans. Um, you know, it's a meal in a can. <clears throat> Another big one. Um, they didn't have any of just the beef stew. All right, I went to a different Walmart that I normally don't go to. I figured I would try it because I've tried three different Walmarts and I've figured out which one is the best. So that'll be the one I'm going back to. But we went to a different one and they didn't have anything beef stew. They didn't have the Walmart brand. They didn't have any of that. So I ended up getting the, the savory uh, pot roast and it's got the meat, potatoes. Um, there's green beans in there, carrots, the whole nine yards. So that's kind of like a meal in a can. It's got the pull top, which is really nice. And I mean, push come to shove, you could eat it right out of the can, room temperature. And then we moving on, I got some of these creations. I got the buffalo style and the classic barbecue. And those are tuna fish. 
and these suckers are good until July of 2023. So that's nice. All right. Now, just remember, you know, all your dates and stuff that are on your products when you buy them, that's the best buy date. That's not the date that you have to eat it by. That's the date that the company says they guarantee the freshness. Make sure that you remember that. Don't throw the stuff out if it's a month past the date because more than likely it's still good. All right. <clears throat> I scored a couple of these hams. All right. They didn't have any other kind of hams. And I found these over in the Spanish section uh, on the bottom shelf. So these, these cooked hams were uh, 5.48. So I got two of those. All right. And then tuna fish, two four cans. The tuna fish was on sale for for 88. And the large cans, the four pack of the chicken breast, the big chicken breast, there's four cans in there, the, the 12 ounce cans, 12.5 ounce, I should say. All right, those are 748. Now you can get the, the, the trick is you can buy these in the two pack for, I think, believe it was 496, 486, somewhere in there. And you can get the four pack for 748. So you're saving money if you can get the four pack. Now, the last two times I've gone to Walmart, they did not have the four packs. They only had the two packs. So this time they had some four packs, so I, I scored a couple of those. Now they had all the Walmart uh, uh, vegetables and potatoes and everything else was 50 cents a can this, this weekend. Um, so I grabbed um, some spinach, green beans, potatoes. I like the potatoes and everything that's in the can. Um, so, it, you know, it's really nice. Some of them are pull top your potatoes and stuff, most of them are pull top, and then the rest of them you do need a manual can opener to open in case of an emergency. Um, moving on down the line, was able to score a little bit bigger bottle. This is an eight full ounce hand sanitizer, but they do have limit as one. All right, now to the item at hand, Lysol spray, all right? Now this is Walmart's brand, okay? Now I haven't been able to get this in any stores in my area. I know other people have said they've had luck finding it, uh, but in my area, this has been out of stock. Doesn't matter if it's the regular Lysol brand or if it's the Walmart brand. Now, the trick is when you go into Walmart and you're looking around where the Lysol is, look up on the top shelf. The boxes are white with black lettering. If you see them up there and you're tall enough like me that you could reach up and grab them, you can get you one. Now they do have limitations on these. It was one per customer, you know, per order. So I grabbed this one and my wife checked out on a different lane and bought another one. So we got two. Play the system, folks. That's what they like to do. They like to put the system in, but there's always ways around the system. So. Make sure you're looking in Walmart, look on the top shelf, you're looking for a white box with black lettering. And that's what's in it, right here. It doesn't say it on the outside, but that's what's in it. So, this was my uh, grocery haul this week, a uh, little bit of stocking up, and uh, just trying to put a little bit more into my stockpile. I uh, haven't put much into it lately, have been using, especially like the chicken and the tuna fish and stuff, because uh, sometimes I take these for my lunch when I go to work. Uh, so it's time to replenish my stockpile and make sure that I have plenty of these items because they will come in handy in a push come to sub situation. And this did cost me, with tax and everything, $80.70. So it's not too bad. You know, so it is feasible you know and you can start just a little bit at a time you know 20 bucks 10 bucks the biggest thing is remember make sure that you're always prepping and you're trying to make sure that you have enough food and regular supplies for you and your family in case of an emergency situation 
So this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.